let's take a look what's going on into the other area, which is PayPal. So this is Dan Schulman, PayPal CEO, and he states, digital currencies are going to come into the mainstream. The time is now. So before we get this article, I would just say this. If all the different cryptocurrencies that they're offering in PayPal, if it didn't start off with a huge bang, he would not be saying these things. He would not be pushing the issue. It would be a non-starter because they're like, we're in the business of making money, not losing money. So if this doesn't really start off like fantastic, then we'll just kind of kick the can on the road and see what actually happens. But because there has been so much demand, because they are making so much or they know they're gonna make so much in the fees. Actually, right now you can buy cryptocurrencies for free uh, on PayPal, I think until the end of December. So that's an option if you're into that. Um, but what's what they're seeing is that there's so much transactions being done and you can see it as, as far as like their, their partner who is Paxos. Paxos has their own separate exchange. We covered the story before and there was a huge spike in uh, the amount of crypto that was actually purchased on that exchange. So they're looking and going, wait, I think we just got a gold mine. I mean, forgive the speech, but that is what it is. So this is why I think this is huge, but I think it's going to get even bigger because right now, only US residents can purchase cryptocurrencies on PayPal, not globally. That's not going to get rolled out until Q1 2021. So they were talking about pushing that way back when they first did this. They said, well, we'll dabble a little bit in the U.S. Now it has gone such gangbusters. They're like, yeah, we're going to uh, accelerate that. We're going to do that as fast as possible. And as a matter of fact, even the U.S. residents weren't supposed to buy this much until next quarter. But it, it they had so much demand. They said, hey, let's just open the floodgates. And here we are. So Dan states this, uh, as we thought about it, digital wallets are a natural complement to digital currencies. We've got over 360 million digital wallets or users, and we need to embrace crypt cryptocurrencies. And he's right. I mean, he's they were the ones to really just kick off the whole online payment situation. And of course, there's no better uh, way to evolve into that than the actual cryptocurrencies, which are the native currency of the internet. So why wouldn't they embrace it? On top of that, of course, they're going to make a lot of money in all the different fees. So it's just a win-win. Now, there is one drawback to all of this. And we talked about this in the very first video, in the very first module over at danteachescrypto.com, which is a 100% free website for all the things you want to know about cryptocurrency digital assets. And in this video, we break everything down as to the problems with going through PayPal. Because you can go through PayPal, that's fine, but you will not be able to custody your digital assets. And for people who are uninitiated or don't really know, they're like, who cares? Uh, I'm just gonna treat this as a stock and just buy as a paper stock and then I'll sell it when it, when it goes, goes up. So why do I need to actually custody it? And we talk about all these things in this video. So this is like the main thing I wanted to get to, to people because let's be honest, uh, there's a lot of financial illiteracy out there and they don't understand. I mean, I didn't really understand everything until I got into cryptocurrency. And I'm like, oh, that's the reason why it's so important to have decentralized blockchains, cryptocurrency, and digital assets. Now I get it. So Dan also states that uh, crypto will become an everyday payments tool and spoke of the facts that the global pandemic has accelerated a number of trends, including consumers abandoning cash. And actually, Kevin O'Leary uh, from Shark Tank was on Anthony Pompliano's show, and he talked about how his businesses, things have been accelerated so much by 36 months. He's got a lot of uh, retail shops. He says they have been closing down at, at an accelerated rate, and their consumer or business-to-consumer model has been accelerated by three years just because of the pandemic. So when these types of things are talking about, this really accelerated everything, and especially crypto assets. So moving down. This is what's interesting, and this is how I know things are going at an accelerated rate, and it's going to only pick up speed as time goes on. Because Dan says, parts of these things were on the roadmap, roadmap and parts were not. We were going to provide the capability for our customers to buy, sell, and hold cryptocurrencies inside the PayPal wallet because we had done market research and something like 54% of our base wanted that capability. What we hadn't had in our roadmap is the ability to use cryptocurrencies as a funding instrument to purchase at any of our 28 million merchants. We moved that up because once you buy crypto, you'll be able to use it both as an investment vehicle, but as a funding source to make other purchases. And this is huge because they didn't really have this on their radar, but then as they offer all these things, people are like, hey, I'd like this, I'd like this, I'd like this, and it just accelerates everything. So we're on a breakneck pace to uh, hit all-time highs, I believe. And this is what I like to see as to far as like where we are now and where we're going. 
because he states, look in the future, Shulman said he sees, or Dan says he sees digital currencies becoming mainstream. Mainstream. I think that if you can create a financial system, a new and modern technology that is faster, less expensive, more efficient, that's good for bringing more people in the system for inclusion to help drive down costs, to help drive financial health for so many people. Over the long run, I'm very bullish on digital currencies of all kinds. And this is the exact same thing I talk about with banks. I say banks need to evolve or else they will get blockbustered. This is going to happen because of companies like PayPal, because it's going to move over into Venmo, because even Google is talking about creating a bank. And if Google creates a bank, guess what's on the next horizon? Crypto assets to be included into that. So don't you think that banks would be like, wait, we still are using the SWIFT system where it takes two to three days sometimes to transfer cash around the world, which is ridiculous. We also have all uh, ridiculous fees. People don't trust us. We're in a bunch of scandals. Why would people still want to use our typical bank when they can go someplace like this? That is the big question. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Let's move on.